as well as going on us massive face weekly. Whoa! Another delicious intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 83, Nebos. Big boy. Yeah, mate. Look at that f***ing haircut, mate. I'll tell you what, it's what I always say, and this is what happens. This is why Robbie is a f***ing magician with a pair of scissors, mate, and a razor. Because look at that, that's now a week old, and that shit is f***ing on point. You've got too much gel in there, though. Look how on point that f***ing Are you using hair gel? Uh, well, I, I usually use Suavecito, but because it's so long now, it's too long for Suavecito, it's too heavy. Yeah. So the Suavecito doesn't hold it down. So I've gone for like a harder wax type product. I can't remember what it's called. And to be honest, they're not giving it to me for free. So I'm not going to mention it anyway. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so I've gone for like a more sticky gel. I thought you just were going for my What, the spunk? My Come on, my yeah. My boyfriend. Something about Mary. Come on. Everyone's a comedian today. Then my boyfriend anyway, came in my hair look. I don't give a because the shit is on point. Yeah. So that's what's up. Topics of discussion, Nick. Back in stock, new products coming soon. Top five muscle gain food article. Yeah. Final Classic Expo, Australian Stop and Awards, ask me. Boom. Let's get straight into it. First topic of discussion, Nick. So back in stock. So Holy f hold on, hold on. Two, two seconds. Mm. I've just noticed looking at the little screen that we can see over here while we record ourselves on Weekly Word, that our ensemble I know, got the same shirt. is matching today. Look at the ensemble. What pants do you have on? You got the grey cut off, so I got the black. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's close enough. Anyway, first topic of discussion. Mate. Back in stock. So back in stock, MTS Fuel is back in 30 serves in all flavours. Yeah. We'll come back to that after. We will. And our MTS Barracuda back in stock in both flavours. That's it? That's it. That's good. I like that. I like it when we're not out of stock of a lot of things. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Neve. New products. Boom! Um, so the sleeveless hoodies are now available on the website. And in stores. Yep. Yep. And they, I gotta say, they are dope as f the short They're probably my favorite piece of TMJ apparel right now. The TMJ short shorts? What, yep. are, they, what are you actually calling them? Uh, we're calling them uh, Pro Mesh Shorts. Yep. So they'll be available uh, probably by the time you watch this, they're probably available. They're, they're, they're dropped. Available in store and online. Um, machine fuel is now available in the 30 serve in a strawberry kiwi flavor. And I gotta say, mate, yeah, it mix, mix, mix for reviews at MJHQ, to be honest with the viewers at home, mate. But it's my second favorite flavor. But I tried it and I, th I think it's the best. I think it's better than the famous mixed berry flavor, which is by far the best flavor. It's not better than mixed berry. I think it is because it's more strawberry. Very little, t it's a touch of kiwi. You know how sometimes you get like strawberry kiwi and it's too much kiwi? And let's be honest, if someone, if you were, if you did the Pepsi challenge, strawberry, strawberry and a kiwi fruit, yeah. it, the strawberry's winning every time. So I've always questioned supplement supplies that make it more kiwi than strawberry. But Mark has come through with the goods, Mark Loblin, MTS Nutrition, and gone more strawberry than kiwi, and delicious. <laughs> Next, um, so Outlast Outlive, which is the Outlast Greens formula. Yeah, baby. Now in stock, and yep. also the Outlast Out Shred, which is a hydrolyzed WPI from Outlast. Uh, is it hydrolyzed? It is. Is it really? Hydrolyzed WPI? Yep. Does it have any other proteins in there? Um, if or I is it just hydrolyzed WPI? There's a, the, there's a tub in the kitchen that we've been drinking, the honeycomb flavor, which is delicious. Amazing. Yeah. Anyway, raw review on that is going to drop real soon, as soon as it comes into stock, to be honest. It'll be tomorrow. Yeah. But by the time you watch this, it'll be in stock on the website. Next topic of discussion, Nate. Uh, so coming soon, the women's yep. performance training type is coming soon. Boom. Core Pro, Core ISO, Core Burn Ultra, Core Zs. When are they all coming? Next week? Everything. So Core, core Pro and Core ISO uh, will be, well, if not by the end of this week, early next week, yep. like days away. Like yep. we're, talking, we're talking days, baby. Talking millions. Core Z's and core burn is like two weeks. Yep. And I will uh, just just on that core Z's obviously the sleep formula. Core burn ultra, the new updated formula of core burn with flavors neck level. Put your phone on silent, mate. Uh, mango and raspberry lemonade and neck level flavors. Yep. 
Just amazing. And One Up Nutrition will be here in two weeks as well. Yeah, one, well, no, One Up should be closer than two weeks. We should be talking like a week away. Yeah. But uh, full range of One Up Nutrition coming exclusively in Australia to MassiveJoes.com, man. All right, so top- Next topic of discussion, Eve. Top five muscle gain foods articles. Yeah, go check this shit out, man. Link is in the description box. Dilip is gonna flash up the uh, the title image for it. Another amazing article put together by Massive Joe's business development manager, Jack. Yep. AKA Jack Oss. Yep. Amazing, awesome article. An interesting article, as a matter of fact. It's not your typical, you know, top five foods for muscle gain. You're expecting like chicken, rice, broccoli, your usual top five, wouldn't you? What would yep. be in your top five, like off the top of your head? Uh, steak. Yeah. Chicken. Yeah. Rice cakes. Yeah. Salmon? Yep. Protein powder. And I can tell you of that, like two of those are in the top five. There you go. Yeah, it's an amazing, it's a very, it's a very, it's a, it's, you know what it does? It's, I would go so far as to call it an enlightening article because it spreads your horizons. Well, I would have, uh, I love the shit. Well, I would have spoken to Jack about this article, but the yeah. has packed up his desk and moved to the other side of the yeah, office. Yeah, has too. Dog. He doesn't watch the videos. No. You can pretty much say whatever you want. So if anybody wants to come, <laughs> so if anybody actually wants to come, next to me at work there's a free desk next to me at work yeah he told me i don't know why he, he gave me no reason he said it was nothing personal no reasons no Come justification on. anyway links in the description box go check that article out next topic of discussion hey arnold classic expo first piece of info all right so we are now uh six weeks out yep. from the arnold classic expo the yep. arnold australia and as usual well, as we've done the last couple of years we like to about six weeks out start leaking information about the arnold classic yep. about the expo one piece of information per week so we're going to get you guys in on the first piece of information big dog yep. what's it going to be we actually haven't discussed this <laughs> Haven't told me do well. Let's do. We want to announce who's going to be there, or do we want to announce maybe one of the special giveaways, or do we want to announce some of the the specials that will be there? Or well, everyone already knows who's coming. Well, so no, you, no, so no, you, no. Listen, mate. Me, the listen weekly me. word viewers do not. The Periscope viewers probably do. If you don't follow Periscope, everyone knows who's drugs. coming. If you. If, you, if the first piece of info giveaway yeah. was who's coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. which we already know is Mark Lobliner, Doug Miller, Sean Torbardi, and uh, the online coach, Ray. Boom! So that's that's not what we're dropping. No, we are but, dropping it. But, that's if, what's being but if that was all we were dropping, would be yeah. as shit as the store opening giveaway you did, which was a lanyard. <laughs> that was not that my was, I wanted, call. I just wanted to say- It was not a It was a lanyard of bro jug and a team. Yeah, spend, spend 100 bucks, get a free lanyard. I just want to say sorry. <laughs> Being in people's company, I'm embarrassed. The <laughs> gave away those landmarks. You're embarrassed. I remember specifically Jack coming up with this, running it past you at your desk, and you go, "Yep, looks good." Oh, yeah, come in, I was probably watching videos. Dylan's designing the artwork, and it's gone live. I was probably watching YouTube or something. Anyway, first piece of information is the guest appearances, okay. and we can say confirmed for the Arnold Classic Australia is MTS CEO Mark Lobliner. Core Nutritional CEO Doug Miller, HPN CEO Sean Torbardi, and the infamous Raymond Querido, aka the online coach, will be at the Massive Joe's booth Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Arnold Classic Australia. And I apologise that that is the first thing to give away. I apologise. But not everyone knows that. I'm still apologising. That's the thing. All right. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Australian and Southern Awards. So we're down the first week of the Australian and Southern Awards. We are one, we, we've got the tip in right now, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> we, that's are one, we are one week in. That's Joe's favorite bit. Not many women can handle the big hose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, links in the description box. Make sure you go and vote, man. The Australian Southern Awards is going off. It's all I see on social media. Yeah. Well, from the supplement side of things, at least. Everyone is, all the companies are behind it, man. Making sure the, the customers, the loyal consumers of their products are voting. So make sure you hop on Australia australiansupplementawards.com.au link is in the description box make sure you go and vote and there may just be a special gift after you vote you know how you beat that what i said last week about the special gift yeah do you know how many people inbox me on facebook and ask me what, what, what did you yeah. say that you beeped out yeah so you go and vote and you find out yeah. <laughs> it's pretty obvious isn't it next topic of discussion Nick. uh, uh
Let's go, baby. Ben Kleeman wants to know, hey lads, I heard you mention bro science in your vid last week. Have you guys ever thought about collaborating with uh, Dom next time you are in the US? Watching Joe and Dom compete to be in front of the camera and yell over each other would be hilarious. Maybe a balls deep raw review into Nar Pump with some special guest Dom. Stay massive. Um, we wanted to last year and we were hoping to do it because yeah. we um, trained at, where do we train where he sometimes trains? Fit Nation? No. Nah. Fit Nation? Might have been Metroflex. Might have been. Yeah. But we were hoping to, but I mean, we, well, I'll be honest, we never really uh, organised it. No, we didn't. I, honestly, I don't think Dom could handle the big hose, man. I'm very dominant in front of camera, and he's very dominant as well. It'll be. But uh, he's not, let's be honest, not the most masculine mother. I don't say that about Dom. I love his video. <laughs> I, I watch every one of his videos. I do enjoy his videos. I don't, I don't watch the videos. I see what you guys watch at HQ, yeah, and I watch like the 10 second snippets. <laughs> and he's very funny. He is, he is a very, I like the road doors thing. Don't yeah. open doors, road doors. I love that shit, man. My favorite one's the evolution of the lifting man. Yeah, he is great. But I would love to collaborate. If you got, Ben, if you got the hookup, man, put us in contact. I, I, I would love to go balls deep in the- In, <laughs> in Dom. <laughs> in a video with Dom. <laughs> Blaine Likens wants to know, hey guys, I'm currently 20 weeks out from my first physique contest. That's a long cut for a physique contest. What, you gotta get 12% body fat to look compatible these days. 20 weeks out is a long time out for a physique contest. Yeah, too long. Well, let's, let's keep reading. And I need some help getting my prep jump started. I've been prepping for about three- Oh, it's a 23 week prep. What the f And have dropped water and a little fat. I'm at about 66 kilograms in weight. Wait, I just wanna say, what the f weight are you gonna compete at? Did you read this question beforehand? No, I didn't. Uh, let, let's right, keep 20 going. weeks. No, so let's, let's, keep, let's keep going. Let's give him 0.3 grams. I'm gonna phone out. All right. Let's just say he's dropping 0.3 grams a week. So 0.3 by 23 weeks, 300 grams is less than we would normally say. Yeah. But that's seven kilos. Are you gonna be competing at 59 kilos on stage? <laughs> that's <laughs> mate. <laughs> Let me keep going. Right now, I'm doing 15 to 20 minutes of medium intensity cardio post-workout and consuming about 2,600 calories. I took 300 calories off my maintenance calories to get to that number. So his maintenance was 2,900, which for someone 66 kilos is, is, is a decent maintenance. Um, I want to keep calories as high as possible because I'm already pretty lean. Well, thank for that. So why are you... Prepping for 23 weeks. My then. macros are about 300 grams protein, 180 grams carbs, 75 grams fat. My question is, how do I keep calories, especially carbs, as high as possible while burning fat? Right now, the carb timing is really struggling to keep my energy and alertness normal. How should I combat this? And how often should I make changes into my prep? Thanks, guys. Stay massive. I'm not going to answer this one. No, you should, because it's asked me when he's asked a question. So don't be a rude answer the question. No, because... Uh, I think that number one, yeah. you, if you're already lean and you're already at 2,600 calories and you're 23 weeks out. Like, you're doing physique, man. You actually, in physique these days, you actually get marked down for being too lean. Like the thing is, man. Like, for real. For 23 weeks, let's just say you drop a hunt. You can't even, like every two weeks you're gonna you are you're way, you're way too out, you're way too far out. You're way, if you're lean like you say you're lean and you're already down to 2,600 calories and you're already doing cardio, I mean man, like you, seriously, you shouldn't be prepping realistically for more than 12 weeks. Let's just say, let's just say for argument's sake, you're dropping say 50 calories a week. Yeah. That's 50 calories by 23 weeks. That's still 1,300 calories. That's gonna be sitting you at 1,300 calories at yeah. the end of a prep, which is what? Is, is low for a girl. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, Here's what I'd be doing. I would be like increasing calories over the next eight weeks until you're 12 weeks out. Try and continue to build up your, your uh, metabolic capacity, then start a proper cut 12 weeks out and cut like we have taught everybody to cut through all of our video series and everything. Go watch the reverse diet video Joe's done. Go watch the cutting chronicles. All the information. Go watch the there, prep videos Joe's done. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd hate to be fucking, I mean, the, the thing I can see yeah. is that you're going to be 10 weeks out and nowhere to move. Nowhere to go. Doing too much, too much cardio, no calories, and you're already, you're already doing, You're already doing cardio. I mean, the, the thing you want to do is when, when fat loss stalls, 
when you hit a plateau. When you hit a plateau, yeah. you either need to increase your output yep. by doing more cardio or more weight sessions, etc., mm -hmm. or decrease calories. Mm. I mean, if you're already doing, if at the moment you're already doing 20 minutes post-workout cardio every single day or yeah. whatever you're saying, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of guys that don't, maybe don't even start cardio until 10 weeks out, 12 yeah. weeks out. Yeah. Um, or if you want to try and keep calories high, like yeah. you said, maybe try and keep them as high and instead of dropping calories that often, just throw in another, I don't know, 10 minutes each week of cardio or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. I'll, the only thing I'm struggling to see then is if, yeah, if you're at 66 kilos already. You've, you've got nowhere to go, man. You're, you're, starting too, you're starting too early and you're going to have nowhere to go. So and just reverse in for the next eight weeks, build up your metabolic capacity, and start a cut 12 Obviously weeks out. Obviously, try not to go. Jay Goodfellow yeah, just leave it. wants to know, what is your preference for grouping triceps during a workout? Do you put them with biceps or shoulders, or do you have a complete day for triceps? Uh, John and I work biceps and triceps together on the same day. We do. And we do a lot of, at the moment, we're doing a lot of heavy benching, yeah. et cetera. So, so I mean, triceps get triceps indirectly are getting hit indirectly on hit. chest day as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Nabs wants to know, what's up boys? How many packets of rice cakes do you guys go through during the week? And what's your favorite flavor? At the moment, I'm going through seven eighths of a pack a day. You're pretty much a pack a day. A pack a day. Yeah, I go um, through half. And I'm going through salt and, I like salt and vinegar. I like uh, sweet chili. I Mind you, those, those cinnamon toast ones, Barney Ong's. Oh, Barney. Right now, I had them this morning. I took two, you know I did? I took, I put on Snapchat. If you don't follow us on Snapchat, at Massive Joes. At Need Movement. Uh, follow us on Snapchat. I, I took two scoops of uh, Cinegram MTS Whey, made sludge with that bitch. I threw two cinnamon toast rice cakes that Barney Ong sent us in that bitch. I threw 100 grams of blueberries, mixed that bitch up. It was amazing. Mm. It was like a cinnamon explosion. It was all cinnamon everything. Yeah. Yeah. Frankie Gong wants to know, Frankie Gong 13, hey fellas, I wanted to get your honest take on Rich Piana's 30 pounds of muscle in four months program. And if natural lifters with as many years as you two have put in can expect anywhere near the results he says will happen. No. No. You just want to leave it at that? Have you seen Rich Piana's cycle? Yeah. That posted on Instagram right. a few weeks ago. Yeah. Rich Pian is on a lot of. Uh, uh, we've a lot met, of drugs. We've met Rich, and he's a great guy. A lot of drugs. But yeah, he's on a lot of drugs. A lot of. I don't want to say stuff too much. To get sued. You can't get sued, man. You can get. We're on YouTube. I thought we're on Periscope. Periscope. Damn. Snapchat. You Be can't. careful. Snapchat. You can't. Feel free to beep out whatever Neve's about to say. Yeah. So what, no, what I'm saying, as a natural lifter, as a natural athlete, yeah, there's no way that you can make 30 pounds, which is. Like 12 kilos in four months. Honestly, Frankie. I mean, Joe. Joe. I, I'll, I'll be. I, I know what you're about to say. I'm gonna jump in and say it myself, so you know it's coming straight from the source. I honestly, where I'm at with lifting, so I've been like competitively bodybuilding or, or doing physique. Let's just say the competitive side of the sport for this is my 11th year now. So I've been doing it for over 10 years now, and I'm happy to gain one kilo of lean muscle per year right now. That's what I'm about, what I was about to say. Yeah. If I get, any, if, any, I, if any, I step more on, than that, it's probably going to be fat gain. Yeah. If I step on stage like this, this last like at the end of last year compared to the year before, I stepped on stage in better condition slightly, and one kilo heavier. Mm. So I may have built maybe 1.2 kilos of lean, maybe 1.3 tops kilos of lean muscle in a 12 month period. And I'm happy with that. That's a fantastic and off season. I'm not sure, I, I'll be honest, I've heard, I've heard people talk about Rich Piana's program and yeah. I've um, heard people yeah, talk about it, but I mean, I'm guessing what, is it a training program? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's training, let's just say it's training and yeah. food. There's no magic secret that anybody ha has been doing, hasn't been doing for the past 30 years. Yeah. There's no, there's not some secret bench or chest exercise that's going to put three kilos in your chest and some secret back exercise is going to make you back, back double in four months. Exactly. Daniel Mendoza wants to know, how did Big Nevos become an ATP sponsored athlete? Um, I first met the guys, um, Grant and Simon, or Grant who's a national sales manager and Simon who's our rep. Yeah. Um, first met them, I reckon April last year when they popped in just to say hello. Yeah. Um, and then met them again at the Adelaide Expo. Yeah. And chat to them at the Adelaide Expo again. Yeah. And um, 
Yeah, I mean, they gave me a few free samples. It was, I'll tell you how it went. No, they gave me a few free samples of their product. It was pretty much love at first sight. It was. The guys from ATP saw Big Nevos, and this happens to a lot of pushy cats as well, don't get it twisted. Saw Big Nevos, locked eyes with, with the big dog, and game over. Wasn't it? It was. It was pretty much game over. But I know I'm serious. I'll tell the serious okay. if people are looking at it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Is that um, I used the products and I believed in them a lot. And then I used to hit up, hit them up and then like, they used to send me a few free subs and stuff. And then I was post, started posting about them off my own back, not as a sponsored athlete, but off my own back. You legitimately, I've said this in videos before, you legitimately really like ATP I do, products. I legitimately believe in their products. He, you, like, you actually use like everything ATP. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Even the supplements that I think the ATP produce that are crap, and I tell you they're crap, yeah. you still use them. <laughs> I do. <laughs> um, You're stubborn. So yeah, so I mean, I, I just, it's a company I believe in. So I yeah. spoke to them and then they asked if I wanted to come on board and I said yes. Yeah. I mean, I've been hit up by a lot of companies before. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Um, but I've always said no because I might use one of their products and yeah. Think the rest is shit. Yeah. Whereas I don't want to do that. I want to actually put my name against a company that I believe in. And exactly. Every single product from ATP, as Joe said, I use. So. Greg Engelman wants to know, there's so many different categories of creatine out there. What direction do we go without wasting our money and making the most of our time in the gym with the product, with creatine? Your creatine these creatine questions are really starting to turn <laughs> beast of blade questions. They are. Let's rephrase that. Greg wants to know, what type of creatine would you feed your dragon? Thanks. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Much better. I would feed him creatine monohydrate, yeah. which is what I use, yeah. because it's more the most scientifically backed and researched yeah. and best value for money. This is the thing, Greg. You've got to understand that all these different versions of creatine, the, what you're after is, is creatine. So like creatine monohydrate, creatine hydrochloride, creatine uh, magnesium chelate, creatine whatever comes after the word creatine is the molecule that the creatine is bonded to because creatine as itself is an unstable molecule so it has to be bonded to something there's no such thing as creatine anhydrous or well, no there's not there's no such thing as like free form creatine for example right it's not stable so it has to be bonded to something what you're after is the actual creatine that gets into your body once you digest it so in terms of monohydrate hydrochloride all these different types it's personal preference man big nevos over here prefers monohydrate i prefer hydrochloride it's really personal preference what we recommend is to try probably the big two first of all try monohydrate see how your body responds if your body doesn't like it you know straight away because you get water retention gas bloating and just feel like shit then try hydrochloride if your body doesn't like hydrochloride you know as well because you won't see any changes and if those two don't work then go to like different types of creatine or a blended creatine but the first two things to try are monohydrate hydrochloride for most people you like, one of those. you like one of those. Stephen Fretz wants to know, any plans to make a Massive Joe's app for smartphones or tablets for shopping and also articles? Well, the, um, the Massive Joe's website is already uh, mobile friendly. It is, but uh, Stephen does ask a very valid question. And yes, Stephen, it will be launching this year, 2016. So we've already started working on it. Uh, it's one hell of a project because you would know from the Massive Joe's website, we have a shitload of content. But until then, our website is still user friendly. Yeah, well, our website is a mobile website. It's still not, it's not an app, but it has functionality like an app would have functionality. So in the meantime, go hit that up. But yes, we are developing a smartphone app uh, in 2016. PJ Jantz Van Vuren wants to know, what's good boys? I have a diet question. My normal daily diet consists of either kangaroo or chicken as my protein source. And it's always paired with zucchini. Since zucchini is quite low in calories, is there a limit to how much zucchini I can eat? Since I really like the taste and it may make me feel fuller during cutting times. Thanks and stay massive. You missed that one? Yeah. You just blank out I, I for two seconds? <laughs> zucchini, I, I really don't know about Is zucchini. there a limit to how much that. zucchini PJ can eat? I don't, I have no idea. Answer the question, Neve! Is what, uh, what the is zucchini? Is that like a cucumber? You don't know what zucchini is. Oh, no. Serious? I've never eaten it. Let's, for argument's sake, let's say it's like a cucumber. Well, the way you it's like a cucumber that you cook. How does that work? Oh, it's, it'd be fine, I guess. Yeah. It's the same with, with all green fibrous vegetables, man. The calories in there are coming from, from fiber. So you, the calories are practically negligible. You can eat as much green vegetable as you 
and why. Where people run into issues is the shit they put on their green vegetables or the way they cook their green vegetables. So they cook them in like oil or they're using like sauces with them and shit that are gonna add sugar and calories and carbs and all that. If you're steaming green vegetables, you can literally eat as much of that shit what you want. I, I, I'm a big fan when I'm cutting as well. I will like jack up my green vegetable intake. I'll eat broccoli, uh, cucumber, green beans. If, if I'm looking for something to make me feel full, I will just eat as much of that shit as I want until I feel sick. I just want to say, uh, in terms of that, Joe does eat cucumber. Um, yeah. I've had to have a few meetings in this very office with, <laughs> with a few of the employees in the office because the way that Joe has no gag reflex, shoves the cucumber straight down his gullet. I don't cut it, I just rip, I just cut the top off that bitch and you yeah. eat that down. Uh, it gives the other guys a little bit of uncomfortable eye contact. Uh, We've had to give him a few warnings. Right, zero. Right now we're actually up to the last question, but we do have some time, so we've got a few more questions. I think we're going to sneak them in this week. As long as they're good. Yeah, no, no, they're all good, man. Big Boss wants to know how can I not lose my gains after a hernia operation? I can't train for six weeks. Um, just try and keep your protein high. Yeah. Um, obviously, keep your carbs negligible as you yeah. won't be needing them as much as your, your calorie and uh, yeah. your, your output will be a lot yeah. lower. So just keep your protein high and your B-sub-A's, keep them going in. And don't stress about it, man. Like six weeks in the big scheme of things is not that much time off. F***ing a hernia up again is 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 a serious deal. Yeah. So just d don't depending stress on, about it. how long you've been training for and Muscle cetera. memory, it'll come straight back when you're yeah, able to get of, back into training. A lot training, of people would do, uh, probably do them good having a bit of time off. Probably six yeah. weeks is a bit long, but a lot of people would actually do, find they come back a lot refreshed and mo more motivation and yeah. every little niggling injury is, is rested and yeah. healed. Mr. Lewis Bones wants to know, hey fellas, made some great gains since my last Ask Neve question. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome, man. Neve must have given you some good advice. For once. Anyway, question is, I live in London, the UK, and have found out recently that because Core Fury V2 has Cinefrin in it, I, it can't be imported into the UK for distribution as of yet. Any advice? Can I just order it from you guys and hope and pray it doesn't get stopped at customs? Thanks, Bones. Um, you can hope and pray that, yeah, you can, I mean, you can order it from Astro's website. Yeah. Um, if it gets seized by customs and they don't send it back, unfortunately, we can't refund you. Yeah. So that's, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's, 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 yeah, our, like our international policy, uh, and I hate quoting policies because it makes it sound like we don't give a yeah. Actually, we do with people's company and shit, but I'm not really 100% familiar with the laws of what you can and can't import into the UK. So, Lewis, it is for you to find out. Um, what you can and can't bring in. And if you know that Cinefrine is a definite no, you can't bring into the UK, I probably wouldn't order it because if it does get checked by customs, they're gonna take the shit. Yeah. And then you're gonna be out of pocket the 79.95 plus the shipping and it's gonna be for everyone. Yeah. So go, get, 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 get something that doesn't have Cinefrine in it. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. Last question, Barney on. Barney wants to know, and firstly, Barney, thanks for the rice cakes, man. Thanks, Barney. Hey. Those cinnamon toast, man. Mm. They're sitting directly in between Joseph and Isaac. Amazing. Big Neve, can you talk the viewers through your current nutrition regime? As far as I can tell, you eat mainly protein and fats in the morning with minimal to no carbs and consume close to 500 grams of carbs pre, intra and post workout. Could you enlighten us as to why you have structured it this way and whether you have found it to be effective so far? P.S. Happy Valentine's Day for Sunday. Thanks, Barney. I wish I was is there. Barney, is Barney, um, Barney's background, is he Chinese? Yep. Well, Barney, happy Chinese New Year, my brother. From Team Massive Joe's. Can you imagine, can you imagine Barnard out on a few brewskis and I, I would love to see that Snapchat. He'd be he'd be I would actually, I would, I would, I would pay to see that Snapchat. Why aren't you following Barney on Snapchat? Because I just see your Snapchat, Barney. Anyway, I do show Joey Barney. Ask the question. Ask the question. Me and Barney are friends on Snapchat. Yes, as well as we Facebook. figured. We figured as much. Um, so I have, um, I'm on 5,200 calories at the moment. <laughs> huh? That um, is ridiculous so yeah so my first two meals are just, how is that even possible <laughs> so my first two meals are just protein and fats um my third meal is protein and my first carb meal which is my rice cakes yeah which is a pack of rice cakes <laughs> um then my second pre seven eighths of a pack seven pre-workout meal i normally just have a shake yeah as a pre-workout meal yeah plus um a family pack of rice yeah 340 grams of rice <laughs> and then a banana and then maple syrup yeah 
And then intra workout, I have my Visa Blaze and two scoops of infrared yep. for the carbs, so about 60 <laughs> grams of carbs. This is ridiculous. And then post workout, I have another scoop of uh, infrared, which is more carbs, and then two scoops of pro whey protein. Yep. And then I get home and have, uh, I don't have any carbs post workout except for the infrared. Yeah. Get home, have um, uh, chicken and broccoli. Yeah. So you should just protein. Yeah. And then before bed, I have salmon and uh, fats. Yeah. So that's your diet. And Barney, what, can, could you enlighten us as to why you've structured it this way? Um, there's a lot of research on, on fats in the morning mm -hmm. um, about spiking insulin throughout the day and, and fats better for fat loss. Mm -hmm. I mean, since, I mean, my body has gotten a lot better, but my body didn't do a great job of uh, intaking carbohydrates. Yeah. So that's what I try to do is just increase my insulin sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Um, which is yeah, just having carbs pre-workout. So my body is just using those uh, carbs for muscle glycogen yeah. and replenishing gly muscle glycogen because I don't, as I said, I don't have any really post-workout. Yeah. Effectively, what, what you're doing is carb timing. Yeah. And the purpose for you doing carb timing is hormone manipulation. Yeah. So what you're trying to do is keep your insulin levels low throughout the day, which uh, on the other hand of things is going to keep your cortisol levels not high, but elevated. That's why I which is good, Which is actually good for fat loss. Mm. So you're trying to maximize your fat loss window. That's what and they then said. you're getting all of your carbs pre, intra and post carbohydrate timing to actually spike insulin to blunt cortisol so that you're not breaking down muscle tissue while you train and obviously to provide energy for your workouts. Yeah. That's why, that's the structure behind it. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it works. Look at you. So yeah. shredded muscular beast. I wouldn't say they shredded, but so Barney, I have six main meals throughout yeah. the day and yeah. then one post-workout shake. That's and then it. And workout shake as well. Six, six whole food meals. Okay. Um, four during the day while I'm at work. Shake while I'm training, shake post-workout, and then two when I get home. Big Neve. Do you have anything else you'd like to add before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Start up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word and all the other deliciousness in our YouTube channel. Until next week, where we're coming to and from, Neve. MassiveJoe's.com.